Alright, so let's talk about date of the week. So you are given the date. So return a corresponding date of the week for the date. So uh, you are given an input date, month, and years, respect, respectively. So just return the one of the following answers: Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right? So I'm going to just call, copy and paste. So I'm going to say string. I'm going to say names equal to this. Okay. So uh in this example i'm just using this example so i'm going to say uh I'm, I'm i'm going to use a given date so convert convert the entire years month and date to dates so this will give me give me the integer right so i will have like x right and i will also create a variable which is current date so i will pass in the current date february 18 2022 right February 18, 2022, and I will subtract with each other, and then to find out uh, what is the current uh, date of the week. So this is the solution. And um, let me code it. So given date, I'm going to say get date, a passing date, passing a month, passing a year, and I also need the current date is equal to get date. Passing the two, sorry, passing 18 to 2022. So it's going to be February, February 18, 2022, right? So I was trapped to find out the date. So map the ops. So it's going to, it's going to be a given date. It's trapped by the current date. It's trapped the current date. So, and then multiply by seven. So if, if the diff is actually equal to zero, right? Because you mod, so you will just return names as zero. All right. Now this is a tricky part. So uh, before that, I need to make sure this bracket is valid. All right now, I need to make sure if the given date is actually less than the current date or not, right? So you will have different uh, solution to return. So if the uh, given date is actually less than the current current date, which mean um, uh, which mean today, uh, the given day could be February 17, right? And then 2022. And I know that I should return uh, names and length subtract by the different. So this is actually when given day is actually less than the, less than the current day. So if that is true, so okay, if that is true, that you return this. If not, then you have to return names at the. So you have two, two different scenarios you need to return. So this will be it, right? So I need to write out my date. So public, public date, int date, int month, int year. All right, so in this case, I'm going to copy and paste for my hash map. So I will just repeat because you are just wasting too, too much time to do it. So I will have a hash map, an integer for a key, integer for a value. Integer is a month. Value is actually um, the date, right? So integer, right? Integer, yes, yeah, very correctly. Okay, so February is 31st. Um, Sorry, January 31st, February is actually 28, and if that is a leap year, I need to know, it, I need to set it equal to 29. So I need to know uh, my leap year, right? So I will just copy my copying function, is leap, and then I will have, have to say passing a year. So if a year mod by 100 is not equal to zero, and also a year by mod by four is actually equal to, is actually equal to zero, then I return true. And also, if year mod by 400 is actually equal to zero, I return true, and else I return false. So this will be it, right? So uh, I'm not finished. I need to know. I need to add in my my dates together. So for int. So so when should I start? So for the year, when should I start? I should start from 1971, right? So 1971, I less than year. I plus plus and I also have to uh, add 335 every single year right 
but I also have to check if the current year if is the is actually at I. So I is actually represent a year. If that is a leap year, I will have to um add a additional one day to the sum, right? And this will be it, right? So um what uh what's for next is going to be month. So for I equal to one, I live in month. A plus plus. So I would say sum plus equal to map dot get at i. So I would add in the month, and then I also add in the date, and I will return the sum, and this will be the solution. So it takes a while to call it, but this is actually pretty straightforward. All right. So I made a mistake. This is because um the the current string array. Is always depending on the current, uh, current day. So February eighteen is actually starting from Friday. So today is Friday, and I will have to just switch the array from Friday, starting from Friday, and then end with Thursday. And I need to put a comma right here, and then let me run it again. And here we go. So I got it correct. So this is actually the tricky stuff you have to worry about so uh, let me submit so here it is so let's talk about time and space and for the for the function using a helper function is get day right so this is actually what it depending on the year so it's going to be out of y and or out of m right at least depending on how many years you traverse or how many months you traverse and the space is pretty like constant i mean all of 12 i mean it should be constant for sure and uh, afterward, this is not much, right? So for the time, I would say it's either the length of the year between the two days, right? It's going to be 2022 or the given day, right? So, I mean, I would say constant for sure, but in the interview, you have to, main, you have to mention that like, what do you actually need to worry about if the year is greater than the month or not. And you have to start in from uh, 1971, right? So this will be the solution. And... It takes me for a while to co or uh, to actually put this into a video. So uh, maybe you can leave a like, subscribe if you want it, and I will see you next time. Bye.